stay will have to be aligned with the basic structure of the constitution and the CAA as passed by parliament might lose its teeth and that's the reason why today you have a situation where the government is delaying it. Now that's that's some people's point of view. What do you make of it? Yeah, thanks very much for having me Rahul. So there are basically two points I'd like to make and uh, they're both on uh, the points that have been elaborated in detail by my very good friends uh, Gaurav and Pawanji. Um, and there are two separate issues. So let me tackle them one by one. So I'm quite astonished by uh, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia's defense that pandemic Agya is a priority. Mein wo ho Are bhai, kya series mein chalti hai government? Are there not 70 ministers and 70 ministries? Or are you saying that uh, you know pandemic Agya to humne jo persecuted Hindus the unke bare mein nahi socha, lekin central vista ke bare mein socha? Things run in parallel. You can't say that just because your overarching priority is COVID, every other thing has to be delayed. So, which brings me very quickly to what Mr. Pawanji said, and here I humbly disagree with him. He's a very erudite personality, and we've had wonderful conversations before. But here, I like to totally disagree with him, and I would be very disappointed if what he says is true, that the government has, quote-unquote, realized its folly and put this thing on the back burner, because it absolutely must not do this, because, and I've said this two years, two years ago, it's a bit difficult for me to recollect everything, but... And, and I, I stick to what I said two years ago, Rahul, on your shows, multiple shows, that CA is morally just. Let me give you a few reasons. Number one, these border countries are Islamic republics and therefore Muslims are not the minority. CA is about India granting citizenship to those who are persecuted because they are not followers of the state religion of Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh to some extent and Afghanistan. Number two, in India, Minority population share has grown from 9% to 16%, maybe above above that, since 1951, while minority population share in Pakistan and Bangladesh has dwindled miserably. Number three, CAA is logically sound, barring my view, personal view that atheists, apostates and heretics, all condemned to death in Islam and therefore in the Islamic republics, should have been included. Number four, CAA is about granting citizenship, not asylum, as India already grants asylum to lakhs of Muslims, including Rohingyas. Number five. Those calling this bill Islamophobic ignore the fact that half a million ethno-religiously cleansed Sri Lankan Tamil Hindus currently settled in India are also excluded. What about them? Number six, those outraging but completely silent Rahul for 70 years when lakhs of Hindu refugees from what was then West Pakistan ran for their lives and settled in Kashmir but were denied jobs, dignity, basic human rights because of Article 370. But that was of no concern because they were Hindus. And finally, number seven, the CPIM, i.e. the Communists, and the Congress in 2012 and 2015 passed resolutions demanding that citizenship be granted to Bangladeshi minorities, i.e. specifically non-Muslims, because Muslims cannot be minorities in Bangladesh. But because the BJP granted it, they're up in arm. Finally, one very crucial point that Mr. Pawan Verma alluded to, you know, he brought in NRC. I know we're not discussing NRC, but this is very crucial. Just 30 seconds. Most people don't realize, Rahul, that the CA is an amnesty that commenced on December 31st, 2019, after the five-year cooling-off clause, I repeat, after the five-year cooling-off clause, only after this amnesty would come the nationwide NPR and then finally the NRC. This means that the purpose of the CA amnesty would be fulfilled long before the nationwide NRC commences. But because the CA amnesty became operational on 2019, December 31st, one would expect that all eligible non-Muslim right. refugees would have already applied for the amnesty. Still, as I suggested two years ago, you know, maybe uh, one thing that can be tweaked from the bill in the bill is that in order for both non-Muslim and Muslim Indians to be in the same boat during the NRC, the amnesty part of the CA should either be repealed or a deadline set for it before the commencement of the nationwide NRC. But let us remember, CAE has, CA has nothing to do with NRC. Even if you club it, it is not anti-Muslim. Okay, Sabah Nakvi, look, we are all talking again.